Hey, look here. I don't know if this dude was watching Dave Chappelle old skits or something like that. I don't know if he just woke up one day and got drunk. I don't know. Maybe he's right. I don't know. I do think it's interesting to hear. So I'm going to post it. I'm going to let you guys hear. Please do not think that the views of this brother. Well, he's not a brother. He's actually white, but he's a brother in Christ. So please do not think the views of this brother in Christ um, or any views of my own. But I just thought it was interesting. I came across it on uh, Twitter and I was like, holy word. I think people need to hear this. So uh, I'm going to let you hear it. And if you like to hear it, then here it go. Oh, before you hear it, I want to say shout out to Carcino for Life. One Crack News. Uh, I want you guys to go sub up to my backup channel, Kwame Brown Bus Life 2.0. Go sign up to my backup channel, Kwame Brown Bus Life 2.0. And make sure you go sub up to Ears to the Streets TV, uh, Damn DPOV, uh, The Political Kryptonite. It's just gems. Kwame Brown's Greatest Fans, uh, Ticket TV. And uh, the Ag Show and Angela Stan. So uh, salute to all of you guys. And here go the video. I'm gone. Great distinction between black folks and white folks. <clears throat> black people have the moral high ground. They do. Black people have them. When you do a comparison morally between white people and black people, you have to take away one thing. Supremacy. Black people do not have a culture of black supremacy. However, white people do. So white people are narcissists, social, cultural, systemic narcissists is who we are because of our racism, because of the lies of white supremacy. So how can white people have morality as long as we have bought into the lies of white supremacy? We can't. And how does that feel to know that black people have a moral high ground. How does that feel to know as a white person that you are sick, twisted, narcissistic, and immoral, highly immoral, and inhumane? I don't use the N-word. What are you doing to fight and dismantle racism that benefits you, white person? Nothing. I ignore it, I deny it, or you perpetrate it. Those are the three things we do. We ignore it, we deny it, or we perpetrate it. That's what most white people do. I hate to say it, but it's true. And that's why I say we're social narcissists and we have no moral high ground racially. We are sick, hurting people. Hurt people, hurt people. And we've been hurting a long damn time. We're hurting. 